Hi guys. I am Katia from animationguides.com. In this video, I will show you how in a few simple steps, you can create and generate a 10,000 NFT collection from scratch using only Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop. We will start by drawing the first piece of our collection in Adobe Illustrator. The first thing we have to do is to make sure that our artboard size is set to the exact dimensions of the NFT piece we want to create. In our case, the art will be in square pictures of 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels. Now, let's get to the fun part and begin drawing. It is important to include one instance of all possible traits we want to create. Even those that don't have to appear in all the pieces. You will soon see why that is important. Traits are the different customizations that will make each bird, in our 10K series, unique. In our collection, we will have eyes, mouth shapes, legs, hats or hair and backgrounds all defined as traits. Once the art for our first bird is created, it is time to distribute it to corresponding layers. This will be the hierarchy of all our birds. The background will be on the very bottom. Then we will have a layer of legs. Then the base layer. On top of that the hair or the hat layer. Then the eyes and eyebrows. And on top of that, we will have our final mouth shape layer. Now we will simply drag each element of our bird art to the layer it belongs to. You can use cut and paste in place commands instead to make this process faster. The next step would be duplicating the artboards. We want to duplicate our main artboard as many times as the number of variations each trait will have. But how many traits and layers do we need for a 10k collection? The basic formula says that the multiplication of traits and layers should give us the max possible size of our collection. Layers being the variations of each trait. So if we have one face shape, 10 glasses, 10 hairstyles, 10 hats and 10 shirts that should be enough to create a 10,000 pieces collection. But it is important to understand that the more traits and variations we add, the more interesting our collection will end up being. For our birds collection, we will create 13 duplicates and end up with a total of 14 artboards. Now the art for each board on every artboard is structured properly and placed in a way that is consistent. We will now make changes to the base layer and traits that are placed on the duplicated artboards. We will start with the base layer. We can hide all the other layers for now. We can just make color changes or maybe add more detailed changes to each base. It is important to keep the changes on the base layer relatively simple to make its appearance fit all the traits that go on top of it. Now we will repeat the process for all the traits layers. We will make the mouth layer visible and draw a different mouth on each artboard. Make sure not to change its placement. And this is how it looks after the changes were made. Now for the hats and layers. Legs. Eyes. and backgrounds. That is it for the artwork. We currently have 14 differently looking birds that have enough unique elements to transform into a 10k collection. To do that we will now export all the traits as separate elements. Since we created each on a separate artboard we can now use the export for screens command to export all the layers for each trait in batch. Go to file, export, 
Export for screens. Make sure that the Artboards tab is active and all Artboards are selected. We will now specify a location to where all rendered assets will be saved. We will create a collection folder. In that folder, we will create a subfolder for each trait. Once the path is set, click Export. We will now do the same for all the other traits in the hierarchy. It is a very simple process that will probably take you less than 5 minutes. Once all the assets were exported, it is time to bring them into Photoshop for auto-generation. Let's create a new document and make the size of our Illustrator artboard. It was 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels. Now let's add the layer hierarchy that our Illustrator file had. Grounds, legs, base layer, hats, eyes, mouth shapes, now let's drag all the layers by trait into our document. Since we exported them as artboards they will keep the right position. Let's select all base layers and drag them into Photoshop. If you click the Alt key while dragging, the imported assets will be linked assets. So in case, we will need to make changes to something in our art those will be updated in our PSD file automatically. Let's drag all the base layers into the base folder. Now let's do that for the mouth layers, eye layers, hat layers, legs, and backgrounds. What we did until now, is already enough to make the auto-generation. But, we might want to change the sublayer names and assign rarities to certain layers. Rarities are what make some attributes appear less than others in our collection. The rarer a piece is, the more valuable it might be. You can append the rarity value by using a hashtag in the layer names. So for example, if I want the police hat to appear less than other hats in the collection, I can change the name of the police hat layer to police hat hashtag 5 and add hashtag 10 to other hat names. I might also want to have a layer named none, which will be empty. That will allow us to create bird instances. Okay, now let's get the script that will help us turn our artwork into a collection. The script was created by Daniel from Hashlips NFT channel. Daniel has tons of useful scripts. So if you are interested in coding, his channel is the one to subscribe to. We will now go to github.com flash hashlips. Click on repositories and locate the one called hashlips underscore r underscore engine underscore ps underscore script. You can find the direct link to this as well as a link to Daniel's channel in the description of this video. Let's download the zip folder. Unzip it. And now we need to save our birds.psd inside this unzipped folder. Now once everything is saved, all we are left with is to run the script and wait. To run the script, go to File, Scripts, Browse, find the script called generate.js in the folder we just unzipped and select it. Now it will ask you a few questions. You will be asked if you are sure you want to run this script what size of a collection you want to build. You can insert the 10,000 there or another number. You will need to give your collection a name and a description. This information will be added to the metadata.json file that is created with every image. Once you answer the questions, the script will start generating images. You can go to the build folder to see the progress. If you enter 10,000 pieces, then it will take a while. If you are just experimenting with this, 
it is best you start with a much lower number. Anyway now, after a few hours, well many hours actually, our bird collection is ready. And here is how it looks. So it just took a few hours of work, and some additional hours of computer power. Much easier than it might seem at first. Thank you Daniel for this awesome script. Hope you guys found this video helpful. I have a full blog post dedicated to creating 10k pieces NFT collection. You can find a link in the description below. Did you use this method to create your collection? I would love to see it. Use the comments section below to showcase it. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.